Hello everyone and welcome back. If you just stumbled across this video, this is actually the third tutorial in a series that we've done on creating a soccer scoreboard graphic and then creating a soccer penalty kick graphic and then finally animating this soccer penalty uh, kick graphic. But if you haven't seen the two previous videos, uh, you're not going to be left out. What we're basically going to do today is we're going to take this graphic uh, that you see right here. We're going to go over to GT Title Designer and I'm going to show you how I did the animation for this particular graphic. So let's go ahead and play out this graphic so we can see what the animation is. And I actually did this graphic in uh, three distinct layers. Uh, this top layer has the visiting team and the home team, and then it has their logos and it has their names. The second part, this part right here uh, that comes in, the second layer contains the uh, uh, wording of penalty kicks, and then it also has the visiting team player that's currently up uh, kicking for the visiting team and then it has the home team player who's currently up kicking for the home team and then these other elements come in this is the penalty kicks um, for the visiting team penalty kicks for the home team and then these represent the five uh, penalty kickers for each team they start out white these white dots are just placeholders as the players kick a green dot will come up if they're, they're successful and they score a goal. A red dot will come up if they miss or have their scoring attempt blocked. In our previous tutorial, we showed how to control this graphic uh, through vMix UTC. Um, if you've watched any of the tutorials on my channel, you know that uh, U vMix UTC is something that I talk about quite frequently. It's a very handy tool if you're like me and uh, you have a very small production. It allows you to do so much uh, with just one person. So that's one of the main reasons why I really uh, gravitate towards vMix UTC. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go to GT Title Designer. And this is what the graphic looks like in GT Title Designer. Okay, over here to the right, you can see all the different elements. And what I like to do when I can is I like to animate a complete layer instead of the individual elements within that layer. It makes it so much easier. So for this first part, uh, this is actually, I said I did it in three layers. I'm, I'm thinking of layers like this being one layer, this being two layers, and this being the third layer. Let's go ahead and set this in motion. One thing that I think is very handy uh, with vMix GT Title Designer is a storyboard right here. And if you click on this, it's going to bring in all the different elements that you have within your graphic animation. You can see over here where it says delay. So if you have something that has no delay, that's going to come in instantaneously. And anything with a delay of 0.5 seconds, those elements are going to be coming in slightly after that. And then these other elements are the ones that are in the second and third row uh, that are being delayed and are going to come in uh, after those first layer elements have played out. So let's get a look at the individual elements. So layer two is actually the home team component of the graphic. And if we go up here, we're, we look and we see that on transition in, we have a reveal that's gonna have no delay and it's gonna last a half a second. It's gonna come in from the left actually and go toward the right. So let's see that. Layer three is the visiting team layer. And again, on transition in, we have a animation of reveal. We have that coming in immediately with no delay. It's gonna come in with a duration of, of a half of a second, or it's gonna play out in a half a second. And it's gonna come in from the right side and go toward the left. So let's see that. And that is exactly what happens there. Okay, now we're gonna go back to our storyboard. We've had everything that is a designated zero. Those are the ones that come on immediately. So we're looking for items that are gonna play out next. And those would be ones that have a half a second delay. So this one here says background player name. That's a half a second delay. Background player name is actually the element 
right here that plays itself out it starts here and then it as it plays out it comes down this way and then it brings in the visiting player name and the home player name so let's take a look at that and that is right here and when we go up here under animations we can see that on transition in it's also doing a reveal and that reveal is coming in after a half a second delay again the duration of the reveal is going to be 0.5 or a half a second and it's going to come from the top and it's going to reveal itself downward and that's this right here so let's look and see how that plays out And then you'll notice after it plays out, we have some more elements that come in. It's visiting player name and home player name. So let's see the animation on those. First visiting player name, again, transition in, we have a reveal. It has a full one second delay. And then the duration, we're making that play out a little bit longer. Instead of a half a second, we're having that play out over one second. We have it coming in from the right going to the left. And then if we go to visiting player name, it's going to be more than likely the opposite. Let's click on that. Again, transition in, reveal. Again, a one second delay and a one second duration. And it's coming in from the left going toward the right. So let's play those out. And then you'll notice the next element that comes in is this penalty kick. So let's take a look at that element. On transition in, the effect that we're using is zoom, and it has a full two second delay, and it plays itself out over a half a second. I don't have any orientation on the zoom. It just comes in, kind of comes in from the background. So let's play that out. And you can see right there, like it comes in from far away, and then as it plays itself out, it comes to the foreground. The next element is going to be visitor penalty kick score and the home penalty kick score. And then also this dash right here. Uh, I went up here just to make sure I clicked on layer four and under layer four, it says there's no animations here. So instead of animating the entire layer, I animated the individual elements within that layer. So what you noticed is these home and visitor players, uh, the home team and visiting team animations play out. And then this second layer came in that displayed the visiting player and the home player. And then this third layer right here comes in and then it starts to display these other elements. That layer is called background dots. So I'm going to click on it. We can see on transition in, it has the animation of reveal. There's a full two second delay to let those other elements play out. And then its duration is a half a second and it's gonna uh, come in from the top and go toward the bottom. So this is what we're looking at right here. Let's go ahead and let that play out. And you can see that right here. And then after that, the placeholders start come, well act actually after that, we have the penalty kick scores that come in, home and visitors and then the dash and then the bezel that kind of goes around that. And then we have the placeholders that come in. So after that third layer comes in, the next elements that come in are the visiting penalty kick score and the home penalty kick score and the dash. And those kind of all come in at the same time. So let's take a look at the animation for those. Visiting penalty kick score, there's a two and a half second delay. It plays out over a half a second again it's on transition in it's the zoom effect so it's going to kind of come in from the distance to the foreground that was the visiting penalty kick score the home penalty kick score the exact same thing on transition in zoom two and a half second delay it's going to play out over a half a second and then the dash is going to be the same because we want all three of those elements to come in at the same time again transition in zoom two and a half second delay, duration of a half second. So let's go ahead and play that out. And you can see where all three of those items come in at the same time. All right, and one thing you'll also notice is before this bezel, I call it a bezel, but before the border uh, for the score comes in, these elements right here start coming in. So you'll notice that this dot here for the home team and this dot here for the visiting team comes in at the same time. And then they start spreading out in different directions on both sides of the graphic. 
So let's go ahead down here to where it says home white one right here. And we're going to click on that on transition in. It has a reveal. It has a two and a half second delay. It's going to play out over a half a second and it's going to start at the left hand side of that circle and go toward the right hand side of the circle. I believe it's the exact same thing for this one. And it is the exact same thing for visiting white one, which is the designation we gave this dot right here. Transition in, reveal, two and a half second delay. It's going to reveal itself over a half second. Each one of these has a half second more delay before it starts um, its play out. So let's go here, over here and look at HW2, which would be home white two and home white two. The previous dot here, home white one was a two and a half second delay. Home white two is a three second delay. Home, right, home white three, three and a half second delay. So again, each circle has a half second of delay built in. Home white four, four second delay. Home white five, four and a half second delay. So let's go to the visiting side. Visiting white one, two and a half second delay. Visiting white two, three second delay. Visiting white three, three and a half second delay. Visiting white four, four second delay. Visiting white five, four and a half second delay. So let's go ahead and play that out. And the only thing left is this score uh, rectangle right here is what I'm calling it. That's actually the border for the uh, penalty kick score. And let's take a look at that. And that has a 2.75 second delay or it d d it's delayed two and three quarters of a second. It plays out, out over a half a second. Again, it's the reveal and it's prompted on transition in. So once we start to transition this in after two and a half or after two and three quarter seconds it will start playing its part out and then it will play out over a half a second so when that border comes in it just kind of comes in all at one time all these other elements down here the visiting player home player the placeholders those are all white along with the visiting team penalty kick home team penalty kick and the dash but just to make it stand out and look a little bit different, I made this element here a silver color. So it's not very difficult. You just kind of need to figure out the sequence that you uh, want to do for your animations. And then you just kind of stack them one on top of the other. We've done animations before on graphics in the past on our one man stream tutorials, but this is the first time I've devoted a entire tutorial just for animation. So if this is something you like, please comment or uh, send me an email. Your uh, comments and questions are always welcome. I try to read and respond uh, to everyone's questions and comments, so please keep those coming. This will conclude our tutorial today on graphic animation. If you like this tutorial and this tutorial series, please give us a thumbs up and a like. Make sure that you do subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. And we do have a website now for One Man Stream. If you get an opportunity, please stop by our website. It's www.onemansstream.com. Again, that's onemansstream.com. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.